like a group of ladies. Y'all are having, so you're just smiling, having so much fun over there. You're making me so happy. Nice, beautiful smiles. Our first guest is getting rave reviews for her performance in the new movie, The Blind Side. Please welcome my friend, Sandra Bullock. <laughs> on frosting or something Something, back something, there. something, yeah. 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 I assumed everyone was hearing the same thing I was. I was like rocking out to a little raw bass and apparently you guys weren't hearing the same thing. No, I no, was. no. We were hearing something different. So I hear. Yep. Or so I didn't, didn't hear. hear. <laughs> right. <laughs> well, you're probably this happy because your movie made $35 million. Yeah. yeah. Thank you, Susan. Now, congratulations. You make a movie, you're yeah. happy, you're proud of it, everybody's talking about how great it is, then it's gonna go up right against New Moon. Yeah, which and I went, what? Yeah. <laughs> I was like, I, 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 I didn't want to question anyone's intelligence who was in the marketing department, but I did. Right. Um, you, I, you know, it's, I don't know how this stuff works. You know, we, just, we were just like, let's just make 15. If we make 15, we can hold on and we can be around for a good while, but we made yeah. 35. 35! <laughs> That's right, yeah. I didn't make it. But no. someone, someone um, out there made the thing. You didn't make, you should make it. I Tell me about someone it. Someone should give someone, her that money. That 35 million she cooks me. Because because you you were obviously a big part of why they went to go see it. And, so but you also should. you did us a solid in New Orleans. Um, you had the opening, which we, I love. You had the premiere had in New Orleans. There. And this woman taped the most fantastic um, opening for our film for everyone who came. And the weirdest thing happened. Like, I swear to God, I did not see it. And she said, I'd just like to say hi to Sandra. And I love what she did with her hair. And she did this. And everyone's looking at me going, did you tell her what you were doing with your hair? Because I decided to do that. <laughs> and for no reason, I just said, I just want a lot of this. I thought that would be the weirdest thing I could do. Would I was acting like I would know, because I taped it days ahead. And so I did this thinking this. she'll never have her hair like oh, that. And we brought you a little something from your people. And um, from New Orleans, we got oh, you some. Oh, you got me some beignets? Beignets. And some coffee? This. I drink this coffee here, this ca really? Cafe du Monde coffee. It's so strong. And have, you can eat this being a vegan, right? I yeah, think you're okay. I you can, know, I can have that. Yes, I, this I, is, I love um, donuts. The Mardi Gras book from Arthur Hardy. This year's come out. They wanted you to have that. So. Thank you so much. Now I'll read it feel, right now. Yeah, would you? <laughs> How y'all doing? <laughs> The Roman poet Ovid reported that 5,000 years ago, Greek shepherds. $35 million. <laughs> I don't know what's happening. It's so weird. It's exciting. <laughs> yeah. You don't need anybody anymore. I don't need you people. No, no. <laughs> what are you thankful for this year? Oh, my gosh. You know, do you I, like Thanksgiving? I love Thanksgiving. Mm -hmm. I, I, we, my neighbor and I decided last year to cook for 65 people, about 60 of them whom we didn't both collectively know. No, we did, but we didn't know the other. It, it, you can't do that. Unless you, you want a restaurant. You and one other person? Myself and Claire, my neighbor, we decided, oh, we're going to do this. We're going to put a tent up in the backyard. and. Mm. Yeah, so this year, I'm just going to, like, I think I'm just going to drink a lot of beer and watch football. There you go. Okay. Put your hand in your pants. Yeah, is that how you do it? Yeah. Oh, do you? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. I mean, that, that kind of, like, if you do it, it feels kind of good. Like, I don't know why the hand there is necessary, but it feels like, it's like comforting, right, guys? Like, it's like a, it's like a little friend. <laughs> what do you mean? What do you mean you don't know why it feels good? What? What's, what? <laughs> no, I said up here. Okay. 
Like to the left, right here. <laughs> well, anyway, let's, thirty-five let's, million dollars. Uh, <laughs> So this year you're gonna, hey, have you bought your copy yet? No, but I, I, all you seem to talk about is this. Right. <laughs> because I'm only the second person ever to grace the cover with it. It was the first lady and now me. I That's know, a big with deal. I know, with the hand thingies. I saw it, I yeah, saw it, yeah. I saw it. Well I then hear. buy an issue and be a friend and buy an issue. How about you just give it to me? No. I'll go buy a ticket to go see your movie if you, if you buy an issue of a, this okay, is I'll buy it, I'll buy it. It's cheaper than a movie ticket. I'll buy it, I'll buy it. I'll All buy right. two. Thank you. I'll take these two and then I'll just send you some money. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> All right. And I'll buy one of these. I'll give you that. Oh, what is that? It's DVD delicious. It's all the best moments of my show. I'll take one of I these. Think you're take, probably, I'll take you're one probably of these. on it. Am I? Yes. But you, were you, were you assaulted me when with I peppers and When I knocked you over, the, yeah. Did you guys ever see how well, mean that was? That was one of the funniest things that was ever No, happened. that hot pepper. That she had me, though I stupidly ate. No, it's you really called. Offer, I would I, never do that to I anyone. I know, I take that. You, yeah, it you was, own it. I own that mistake, and then the next morning I owned it even more. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I can't imagine. No, you, because I can't even imagine, but you just needed to drink milk after what you'd said to no, cut the hot. No, you guys gave me like a gallon, and then you gave me these sliced cucumbers, and then bread, and then I. I well, it was your idea from what I remember. <laughs> You're so good. I love watching you and everything you do, and this is a true story. It's a really sweet story. Tell people if they don't know what it is. About. It's it's based on the book called The Blind Side, which basically, with the exception of a couple years, is happening now. The Tui family um, took in this child that was cold, um, gave him a roof, adopted him, and uh, educated him. And he'd been, you know, in the foster program, barely, you know, on one of twelve, and and uh, gave him good love, and he gave him good love back. And now he got he was in the first round of the of the draft, and he plays for the Ravens now. Michael Orr. Crazy story. It's, yeah. It's, Is that, I don't know, because I know you, you talk to so many people doing, you know, junkets like this and yeah. talking about what that makes you think about, but does it make you think about adoption? Does it make you? You know, I, I've, I've always felt like just, just because a child didn't come from inside your body doesn't mean that it's not your child. It just arrived somewhere else, yep. you know? Yep. And, but, but the thing that affected me the most profoundly was you, when you, people think of adopting a child, they go, oh, I want a brand new little baby that, you know, is perfect. It, there are so many children that are just dying and waiting to be loved and give you love back a thousand times more than what you could ever give them. And they're everywhere. And I, I just, I looked at Leanne, I said, this is fantastic. You didn't have to potty train him. And it's like, you know, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but you would be profoundly um, amazed at how many children are, are out there and just so waiting for you to love them. Uh, and you think you're doing something good for them. As the Tui said, they had no idea what Michael gave them back was far more than, than yeah. um, they could ever give him. So uh, how is your lovely husband, Jesse? He's good. Jesse James. Good. Yeah. I love I loved him on The Apprentice. I, I thought he was so good. I didn't, did you watch him on The Apprentice? I did. I, I'd never watched the show before, and I probably won't watch it after. It was so painful to watch those weeks. Um, that was hard to watch. Yeah. I don't know how they do what they do. I, I don't know how. I mean, I know how he does it, because I see him work hard like that every day. But I can't deal with playing games. Like, just tell me what my options are, and then, right. you know. Um, a, a thing I love about you, lots of things. I love a lot of things. I love that uh, not only do you rescue animals, you rescue animals with special needs. How yeah. many dogs do you have that have two legs? Well, <laughs> we have one Ruby with one, uh, two legs. <laughs> one leg, Pogo. Look, uh, and uh, it, you should see if she's brought it here. It walks down the hall on only its two back legs. Ruby is the one on the left. She's wear, actually wearing, they were wearing Michael Orr's. Right. They, Michael the, Orr made them some jerseys. Poppy was a little overweight, so she was embarrassed and didn't want to look at the camera. <laughs> but Ruby now looks like she has arms on the top. And she sits upright like, she's like, you know, like it's that. amazing. So Ruby has two legs and Poppy has three legs. So collectively, ba they're basically a dog. Uh huh. Yeah. Right. <laughs> so when, and a little bit more. So when I fly, you know, they ask me to pay separately, and I go, no, no, no. But the description of a dog, four legs. And I right. say, uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> so you just have the two? We've got those two, and then we have Mr. T, mm -hmm. Mr. Tubbs, and uh, Cinnabon. Uh, Cinnabon, what's yeah. that? A very large uh, tan puppy that takes up about that much of the bed. 
Yeah. You know, and, and how do you, because we have this problem yeah. too. Yeah. It, don't you find that you're in positions when yeah. you're laying in bed? It's like that. I'm like this up by the pillows, uh -huh. like that. Poppy here, Ruby somewhere down, uh -huh. uh, Mr. T full length. Someone else down here by the foot, so I have to make a tiny little O. Well, Jesse has the entire, his side of the bed lengthwise just fine. Oh. See, I can't sleep with my legs like that, so I kind of push them, pull them up, and then go around it so that I don't so disturb they get inside. them. Yes. So I'm like this, but then yes. when I have to go to the bathroom, I have to pull yep. my leg up and get out and come back and get in that same position. But then you have the covers over you, so how yes. do you get the cover up? You have to move the no, cover. No, I slide my leg from under the cover yeah. and then move because, down. God forbid, I disturb one of the animals. Yes. Oh, and you know, usually it's just two that always sleep with us, but sometimes there's a third, and when Porsche and I hear, we're like, oh no. That's and Mr. Like, T. You can hear yes. one. They, they're real clever. Yeah. Like around two o'clock in the morning, you hear tick, tick, and then I just feel the pause. He's like, mm. yeah, oh. Yeah. And, and you, then he's like, he thinks he's being very tiny and very right. small when he weighs about 80 pounds. Oh. And then the bed just kind of on it's, my side goes right. like that. Yeah, it's Jesse sleeping just fine. But you can't fine. kick him out. He you can't, can't do it. No. Um, Hey, I was gonna read an article okay. uh, to you from my magazine. Right. You know, I'm on the cover with oh, yeah. Oprah. And uh, so, um, you know, I wear these glasses. I don't need them all the time, uh -huh. but I, I only to read. Like if I go to, you know, a restaurant or something like that, and one eye is actually better than the other. So I don't really need to. I wish I didn't have to wear and glasses. And what does this have to do with my 35 I'm just million. saying, I wish I didn't have to. I wish I didn't have to wear glasses because well, I just only tell me need. What page you just come on. Because I only it. need the one eye. Okay, just tell me I'm what saying page you're on. I only need the one eye if I could see. With is one... this leading up to something? What? I'm just funny. All I'm saying is if Here I. Here we go. I've already found it. Is this what we're getting to? Am I ruining something you're no, setting up right I'm now? No, I'm just trying to talk about my eye and how I can't see. Out of one of them, I can see fine. Oh, I see, because you're nearsighted. And, and the other it's eye. It's farsighted. No. The, you're blind? No. I just, you know what, I wish I could cut this ha in half, half, half off and just wear the one. The one glasses? Yeah, yes, I wish I could. Wear one glass, contact. No. Wear one lens? I don't want to have to stick something in my eye uh, like yes, that. Uh -huh. So I wish I could just, you know, have something to. A monocle. Yes. <laughs> <laughs>